name is David Padgett. I'm the president of Concrete Polishing Solutions. I am uh, here at the show, the uh, ICPSC show. We're demonstrating the different equipment here in the show. Uh, we obviously sell electric and uh, propane powered equipment. Uh, today I was talking uh, about the different kinds of equipment and why some people would choose electric, some people would choose propane. Uh, currently the propane is the hot button. People are really enjoying it. We're selling about 10 to 1 on our propane units over electric, which is unprecedented. Normally the electrics are the big seller. Uh, it's been about that way for about the last eight months, nine months. Uh, the 320 propane is 32 inch grinder, 31 horsepower propane engine, and the uh, 18 horsepower propane back. These are both uh, units that we've had for years. Uh, we've had this unit for since 2007, um, and this unit we've had since 2012, 2011 rather. Uh, the reason they've taken off here recently is just that it kind of uh, has been growing in popularity and, and it's been growing in uh, awareness in the market, as well as the fact that the uh, margins in this industry are compressing a bit due to the economy. And so people are having to beat out areas of their business that are losing money. And uh, so obviously set up and tear down with 500 feet of cables times however many machines you have. Uh, you know, generators on flatbeds or rented from rental houses, all very expensive. Maintenance of these generators is expensive. Ends up most of the time costing an extra vehicle on the job site every time. Another vehicle with an option of breaking down. Fuel cost, I mean the fuel cost is three to four times uh, per machine for an electric powered machine running off a generator than it would be for a propane unit uh, that runs about $27 worth of propane in a 10 hour period of time. Uh, so fuel cost saves them a lot. Uh, and really it's a lot about the setup, tear down and versatility on the job and around the job. Uh, with electric you have a lot of time spent in uh, laying the room out correctly so the cords can be laid in a safe place and, and not get in the way of other people. Uh, it also gets in the way of the person operating the machines. Uh, and it really costs a lot of time. And uh, when you get into a situation where either you're running wet or dry with propane, you're not tied to cords, you can move in and out of rooms very easily. And uh, so that, of course, saves a lot of that uh, production time that costs labor uh, to these contractors. Uh, you know, for a long time, there's been propane used in different industries like the burnishers and the scrubbers and power trowels in, con in concrete construction. Uh, but the grinders were a little underpowered in some areas. Now, big grinders are starting to come out with the propane. Uh, has the same durable power that you would expect out of electric, and yet it gives you the versatility and the flexibility of propane. I mean, coming in at close to the same cost, it can't beat it. It's a no-brainer. So we can't keep up with propane. We just rolled out our newest, uh, the 25-inch, which is it's just like our 25-inch electric. It's just got an 18-horse propane engine on it instead. Super easy to maneuver, super easy to move around. Not light, so it's not going to be something you want to carry upstairs. I mean, you know, but it is something that you could pull up a ramp very easily um, and uh, maneuver it around inside of doorways, 24, uh, 25 inches inside. I mean, on the outside, it makes it nice to, to be able to maneuver around doorways. So we're releasing that here at this show, and uh, so we'll be actually taking orders for these six weeks from now. We, we, like, we have these out testing them. We like to test them for an extended period of time before we start taking orders.